Hundreds continued to come together to show solidarity and share their talents in a Milwaukee garden. They showed how art can promote understanding and healing. Carol Meekins reports. And so let's be clear. The lines are not drawn by color, but the lines are drawn by power. A hot, humid night draws a huge crowd to Alice's garden in the heart of Milwaukee. We're all people. And we have to remember, like, we can't keep letting this stuff happen. Artists take to the stage to pay tribute to black men killed by police. All lives matter, I get it. But the fact of the matter is, all lives are not being killed at the rate that black lives are being killed. About 300 people applied on Facebook to come to this event. They came from all walks of life and all parts of the Milwaukee area. To see so many people from so many different backgrounds come together for one cause, it's really beautiful. And if Milwaukee is a divided community, you won't see it here. This event was sponsored by Black Lives Matter and drew a diverse crowd. Because our brothers and sisters uh, in our churches are here and they're, uh, we love them. And so we want to show solidarity and love. And to many here, this is a symbol of community compassion and how we all can work together for justice. I'm very passionate about this movement and I wanted to surround myself with people that are also passionate and just feel together. We feel helpless, but all as one coming together, we know, we see the hope. I can see the light. Even in the midst of rain, we can see the light. That was Carol Meekins reporting. Several people at the event told us a community dialogue about race will be the key to the future. The Green Bay Packers.